Hey, NGConf 2021. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Mike Brocky. You can find me online at Twitter, typically under at Brocko is my username. I am a hero dev, and I am also an Angular GDE. In the past, I've done work on the Angular CLI. But today, I'm here to talk to you about Scully. Specifically, I want to talk about what the team has been up to, and more importantly, what the future holds for Scully. But first, I want to give a brief overview of what Scully is. It's a configurable and extensible set of tools to pre-render your Angular application before deployment. This is also called static site generation or SSG. And because browsers are really good at taking HTML and CSS without JavaScript and show it to a user, it takes your application's performance to a whole new level, especially when combined with the use of a CDN. Or to put this all another way, Scully is the Angular tooling that unlocks the Jamstack. So what has the Scully team been up to? In February, we released the first stable version of Scully. And we are currently at version 1.1. We've also improved the documentation for both the content and the layout. We released the Flash Prevention plugin to help prevent the flicker between the static content and the dynamic content when Angular is loaded into the browser. A critical CSS plugin was also released, which inlines the above the fold CSS to improve your app's performance. We've also improved the developer experience by improving both the schematics as well as error messages. And other new plugins include Google Analytics and a copy to clipboard plugin. So while the team is very excited with what we have accomplished, we're very much looking forward to the future. So I want to share a little bit of the things that we've got currently in process and are next up on our uh, plate. First thing I want to talk about is cache. But before we talk about cache, let's talk a little bit about how Scully works. Your build output will sit in the disk directory, and that's what Scully runs against, your outputted application. And then it essentially traverses your application's routes to be able to render each individual route within the application based upon your Scully configuration, which can be very taxing for your data systems, be it database or other APIs, because as your application gets walked, those calls are being made. But instead of hitting that database or that API multiple times, we've created a caching plugin, which will allow you to only hit each of those endpoints only once and cache it on your machine to be able to save all of your production servers so you don't bring those systems down to a crawl. We're very excited about this feature. In fact, we're so excited about the performance gains for Scully by running a local cache that we're also creating a new feature that we're calling the vault, which will be a remote cache which all developers on the project would be able to share and access instead of taxing the production or staging database or API servers. Super excited for this. In order to talk about our next endeavor, I need to discuss a little bit about the internals of Scully. For Scully to statically generate your application, we use a renderer, and our renderer is based upon Puppeteer. But we are Angular developers, and when we think Angular on the server, we think Angular Universal. So our next goal is to create an Angular Universal Renderer plugin. In fact, we've taken the initial steps and have a proof of concept using an Angular Renderer, Universal Renderer. And we are seeing performance improvements up to 200 times that of the Puppeteer Renderer. And we don't plan on stopping there either. With having two renderers, we envision taking Scully from being not only the Angular pre-renderer tooling, but also to build a web server, which will utilize both renderers to allow Scully to also be the tooling to provide on-demand server-side rendering. We are extremely excited about not only this, but also the caching features that we talked about earlier and the future of Scully. And we look short forward to sharing that with you, the Angular community, on our journey. Thank you.